You about fish and fishing. Do you like to fish? Yeah! I do too. I do too. And, and with me today, I'm going to teach you a little about fish parts, and their organs and, and things like that. And, and then Mr. Stevens with Project Fish is going to work with you over at the second station and, and talk about uh, the things that the organisms like the, you see the little caddis flies in here. He's got a lot of insects in, it, in, it, in the circles over there and other animals like crayfish. Inside are little, what they call gill rakers, and that keeps the food that they swallow from getting out their gills. And then this is the gill arch, and then these are the gill filaments. And the filaments is what, or where the oxygen is taken out of the water. And the filaments is where he starts to kill. No, he, he will kill them. No, you're right. Yeah. This is called the dichotomous key, all right? And it tells you what animal it is scientifically. Okay, so these guys here, do they have shells, no shells? That's the questions that you ask. So does this animal have a shell or no shell? If it has a shell, then you move to the next one. So pick up an animal. No, this is like a tackle. But these are all, all the creatures that are in here are in group one or two, meaning it has to have awesome water or just a little bit, or just maybe a little bit of pollution. But all of these guys are on top of them. Okay, that's fine. You say that. Yeah, okay. I wish that it was alive. Ew! Hold this one if you think he's in it. Hang on to him. I'm taking my phone. Yeah! Yeah! He didn't like that very much, did he? I don't think so. But this fish doesn't have a bone structure. This has cartilage, and you can see how flexible it is. You can see it. <laughs> These are gill slits. It doesn't take water in its mouth. It takes water in through here by pulsing. His job is just starting. We got them. We learned a little bit about them while they were in the fish aquarium, right? But now the important part is when they're out there, and we need to take care of what we do on the land a lot better so that the water's clean. Becoming really populated and dying off and really hurting tourism in our state because who wants to go to a beach with lots of smelly fish land, right? right? So there wasn't any big things eating those smelly fish, and so that's why they became smelly. Um, and so these salmon were introduced to kind of control that population. So One of the, one of the people that is an important person is Luann Maisner over there. See Luann in the pink? Um, she's actually the director of our parks, and uh, she's, she's actually allowed us to use this site here and she wants people to come out to the parks and stuff, and we're releasing the fish right here in the park. This is, a, this is the, the, the Red Cedar River that will flow where? Where does that go? Goes to Lake Michigan eventually, yep. And uh, so that's, that's kind of what we need to know. That's part of our watershed here. Okay, good job. Alright, go back in. Switch waiters and get some other kids out here. Oh. 